own filling in for Larry Kudlow, there's a dire warning from the Congressional Budget Office tonight. Now, unless Congress prevents the coming end of the year tax increases and spending cuts, another recession is likely. But will lawmakers be able to break the partisan paralysis that has gripped Washington? Joining us right now, two distinguished senators, Mark Udall, Democrat from Colorado, Ron Johnson, Republican from Wisconsin. Senator Udall, let, let me start with you. If there were no Republicans, just Democrats, what is it you'd want to enact? Well, that's never going to happen, with all due respect to my Republican friends. But I would want to put Bull Simpson in place immediately. I was a businessman in my old life. I know you've got to have a balance sheet to which you add net worth every year. USA Inc. is no different. But let's get Bull Simpson done. We're going to cut spending. We're going to fix Medicare and Social Security. We're going to simplify the tax code, generate some more revenue. Those personal rates are probably going to have to go up. But it has to be in the context of paying down our debt while we make the right kind of investments in the short term in infrastructure and our people and in research and development that leads to innovation and a stronger economy. But let's yeah. do Bull Simpson. I'd do it in a minute. If I couldn't get reelected, because Bull Simpson made some people mad. I could live with that because it's, it's the way forward. It's the template we've got to put in place. All right, but Senator uh, Ron Johnson, there's things in uh, Bull Simpson that people would object to. There's a lot of cuts there. There's tax increases that would upset a lot of people. Your thoughts on that? Well, first of all, what I'd like to see out of the Senate Democrats is to pass something. You know, and it, 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 sound, it sounds great to put forward Simpson Bowles. That's what uh, Budget Chairman Conrad tried to do, but his, his conference basically shut him down. So the way this process works is the House has, has shown that they're, be, they're willing to be held accountable. They've passed a budget. That's on the table. We need to see something out of uh, Senate Democrats to put on the table. Then we would go to conference, and that's where the compromise would, would begin between the parties. But first of all, the Democrats have to compromise with themselves and pass a budget or at least agree to President Obama's budget, which, by the way, lost zero to 99 in the Senate just uh, last week. Yeah. Now, I, listen, I know this is, I'm, I'm daydreaming here, but uh, there was a time where Reagan and Tip O'Neill could get together and talk. Even the Clinton and Gingrich could work things out. Bob Dole could get things done. What's going on nowadays with all the, the bickering that never stops and nothing ever gets done? Uh, Senator Udall, what can we do about that? Mark, you're right. The president and the leadership in both houses ought to sit down. That would be Majority Leader Reid, Minority Leader McConnell, Speaker Boehner, Leader Pelosi, and the president. Let's sit down. Uh, let's urge them to sit down and go to work on a Bull Simpson plan. Well, but, let me ask you the, something. Shouldn't, shouldn't yes. your president get off the campaign trail and maybe get these guys in a room and, and do something about this, run that meeting? Certainly. We, we got very close last summer in August, as we all know, and uh, it was discouraging to me a bit because we had nine part spending cuts to one part revenue increase. And my good friends on the Republican side wouldn't take the deal. But look, the past is the past. Let's go to work and get Bull Simpson put in place. It'd be good for the country, good for business. We'd steal a march on the rest of the world. Yeah. Uh, Senator Johnson, it's not as simple as, as uh, Simpson Bowles, but uh, also, is this government now just too big to succeed? It's, it's, it's certainly too big to manage, that's for sure. But, but I, I want to go back to last summer because I have no idea how close we might have come. I was totally opposed to the secret negotiations because the American people simply don't know what was proposed, what was rejected. We should be really following basically regular order. And again, yeah. the House has done that. The Senate should do that here. The Democrats in the sh Senate should put forward a plan that they can actually vote for. Since I've been here, a Senate Democrat has yet to even you know, vote for one budget proposal, none. And they need to do that first so the American can, people can see what their plan is for really preventing this fiscal cliff. Now, Senator Udo, you'd agree that the current spending level can't be maintained. At some point, we've got to cut spending, wouldn't you? Yeah, let, let me just say this uh, to Ron. We, we agreed we wouldn't call each other by Senator. Uh, but to Ron, look, he, he and I have, a, I think, a common goal, which is to get our country in a fiscally sustainable pass, path. We did pass the Budget Control Act, which sets in place some very strict spending cuts. It provides a way forward for the country. The budget passing exercises here in the Senate have become so political. There's so many gotcha amendments. It's not a very worthwhile process right now. Let's, we could agree probably to return to a process that was substantive, that really focused on the budget rather than playing political gotcha games. Yeah. Now, Senator Johnson, uh, people talk about tax increases, but that hasn't been shown to really generate much more revenue. But tax reform no. could generate tremendous revenue. What tax about reform. that? Absolutely. I am all for pro-growth tax reform. You know, I'm all for increasing revenues. Let's increase them the old-fashioned way by growing our economy. And 
you know, I honestly think just an attitude change. You know, th this president, unfortunately, his policies attack businesses. You know, he keeps regulation after regulation upon the backs of job creators. I think getting new leadership that actually is pro-business, you know, basically says America is open for business again, would make a tremendous business, get all that cash that's on the sidelines right now that's afraid to be invested, give those guys the confidence to start investing in businesses and creating jobs. That's what we need to do, but we need a plan. We need to show those folks that we're going to get our fiscal house in order here. And again, Republicans yeah. have a plan. It's on the table. The Democrats don't. All right, but we need all you guys to get together, stop the bickering, and get something done. I hate to say it, but we're out of time. Thanks to Senators Mark Udall and Ron Johnson. Thanks, both of you. Thank you very much. Thanks, we'll talk to you again. They were standing a little far apart from oh. each other, and they did not hug it out at the end, but at least you gathered maybe some confidence that they would work together. I, I, I have no confidence. In anybody I tried to be optimistic and say that. <laughs> I, don't know I agree what, with you completely. Again, you got uh, Reagan and uh, Tip O'Neill talking. Gingrich and Clinton work things out. Uh, it, this has become like Yankees, Red Sox. Nobody, nobody can talk to anybody anymore. You know, I believe really that there's a certain group of people. There's probably people like myself that are more fiscally conservative, but a little more on the socially liberal side. I imagine there's millions that are sitting in the middle that say, I, I, I don't want to spend any more. I'm not for higher taxes.